Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SRA TV Lab. Today, I would like us to see bones of the hands, excluding the couple bones. So guys, stick on this video so that it will be easy for you to understand other videos to come. And please, if you have not yet subscribed, please place the subscribe button like the video and share it to your colleagues. Thank you. Let's go. First of all, you have to know that our hand has 27 bones, including the couple bones. But when we exclude the couple bones, we remain with just 19 bones. You know, you remember the couple bones are 8 in number. These bones in the wrist joint. Good. So what are those 19 bones? These ones in our palm, they are called metacarpals. They are five in number. When you count from here, this is the lateral side or the side of the radius. This is the thumb bones. We see the thumb metacarpal, the index metacarpal, the middle finger metacarpal, the link finger metacarpal, and then the little finger metacarpal. Good. These are five, five metacarpals. Then we go to the fingers. We have 14 bones in the fingers, and these bones are called phalanges. And when it is one, it's called phalanx. What are these? 14 phalanges. Here in the thumb we have only two phalanges. One, two. While in the other fingers we have three phalanges in each finger. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Let's go back to the metacarpal bones. The metacarpal bone, each one has three main parts. There is the one proximal, the one the middle, and the one distal. This one this is called the base. The one that articulates with the couples, it's called the base. Then the one in the middle, this is the body. Then the one on top, it's called the head. It has the base, the body, and the head. Good. You see, every metacarpal has those three main parts. The base, the body, and the head. Good. Then you see on each metacarpal on the body the side part are very concave. This, this one provides the attachment to the muscles. Good. That is why they are very con concave. As you can see here it's concave. Here it's concave. Here it's concave, as you can see, here it's concave, and so on, on every part. So I have said that they provide attachment to interosseous muscles. Those are muscles that are attached here on the body of the metacarpals. Good. And this joint between the base of the metacarpals and the carpal bones, the joints are called couple metacarpal joints. Then let's go to the phalanges. As you can see, there is a joint between metacarpal and phalange. And this joint is called metacarpopharyngeal joint. Metacarpopharyngeal joint. Then after the metacarpopharyngeal joint, we go to the phalange. Every phalanx has also 
three main parts. It has the base as well, it has the bottom, and it has the head. Every phalange has those characters. The base, the body, and the head. Every head of the, like this one, these, these ones are called proximal phalanges, proximal phalanges, including this one of the thumb, they are called proximal phalanges. They are five. Then the other one, they are called middle phalanges, and the one on top are called distal phalanges. Do you see? Proximal phalanges, they are five. Middle phalanges, and then distal phalanges. But as you can see clearly, the thumb has only two phalanges, and this is proximal, and this is the distal. The thumb doesn't have the middle phalange, I mean middle phalanx. It only has the proximal and the distal, while other remaining four fingers have three phalanges, the proximal, middle, and distal phalanges. Good. So guys, thank you. These are the bones of the hands. So in other video, we will see where are muscles attached on every part of these bones. Remember, we have mentioned here on the metacarpal bones, it is attached here the interosseous muscles. You get me. We have said which muscles? The interosseous muscles. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just